So in our lives, we have things that we want to achieve. You've heard me talk about this before, probably, right? Like we have things that we want to achieve. We have desires. We have things that we want to accomplish. Whether that's the, the Ferrari or the new job or the new relationship or the improvements in the existing relationship or the improvements in the health or what, whatever it is, we've got those. And, uh, if we tell ourselves the wrong story, then this is going to be very unpleasant. And so you could just notice the stories that you tell yourself. And I can't tell you exactly what the wrong story would be because there are pretty much infinite ways to tell the wrong story. But you could just notice for yourself, what story do you tell yourself? Yeah, so some people, uh, they tell themselves, I'm just going to give you some examples. Remember, there's infinite variations on this on this ways, different, wrong, incorrect, unhelpful ways to tell yourself the story, but you could tell yourself, uh, it's impossible. You could tell yourself, uh, I don't have what it takes. You could tell yourself it's, this is miserable. Uh, you could tell yourself that, uh, you know, other people can succeed, but I can't. You could tell yourself that, uh, oh, I'm just, you know, I just have bad luck. You could tell yourself, I was, uh, you know, I think I was, there was a mistake made. I was not meant to be here, but somehow through some error, I ended up here. You ever told yourself that one? You know, like somehow the, you know, the angels made a mistake and they dropped me off in the wrong place. I don't know how I ended up here. I'm not meant to be here. Oh, and then you can tell yourself, I don't need, you know, I don't even want it anyway. It's the sour grapes, you know, which, which, which works if it's true, but that's why you have to be really honest with yourself because it's, it's really helpful not to cling to things that you don't actually want, but it's definitely not helpful to tell yourself that you don't want the things that you do want. And part of this has to do with the inner and the outer. Because the inner and the outer journeys are linked. That's what they go together. So in the hero's journey, there's the inner and the outer that go together. It's not going to be very interesting if it's only one or the other. They go together. Why? Because in our lives, that's how it works. So sometimes what happens is we can tell the story. We say, well, you know, it's, I don't even care about, I don't care about any of those things. Nothing matters. Nothing matters at all. And this is this sort of, uh, you know, like pe people get themselves, this sort of like this nihilistic trap, you know, oh, nothing matters, nothing matters. And it's, it's a half truth. If you've, if you've seen something and you're basing your proclamation that nothing matters and you don't really care or need anything, uh, on some authentic glimpse or authentic realization, then the problem is just that it's a half truth. Sure, on some level, you don't care. On some level, it doesn't matter. Absolutely. But if you tell the truth, on another level, it does matter to you. And again, not for all things, right? So if you think about, I'm sure there, you can think of plenty of things in your life that you think you want, but if you really were to tell the truth, you don't care about that at all. But there are some things that you do care about. And you can try and deceive yourself and tell yourself that you don't care, but you're lying to yourself and you know the difference. And if you're telling yourself that you don't care about the things that you do care about, then what good is that going to do you? So you, it can be helpful to use the stories consciously tell yourself the stories using frameworks that are actually going to help you because you have a desire. You have a desire fundamentally for a transformation, but there's a, you, 
you use the story as a way to help yourself with that. So if you're not using the proper stories, if you're not using the proper frameworks for the stories that you're telling, then you're less likely to get the outcome that you want. So the ultimate aim is the inner transformation, but the vehicle for that that goes along with it is the outer, the outer journey. So because, because in this life, the, it's about movement. The stories are about movement. And if you're not moving, then there's no development that's happening. So then you're, there's a stagnation. So you're not actually trans, transforming anything. So you're not, you're, you're just keeping yourself stuck. And that's a, the people can keep themselves stuck in that trap for a long time, justifying it and, you know, saying, oh, this is very spiritual. It's very spiritual to not want anything. It's very spiritual to stay stuck. Like, oh, I'm going through a dark night of the soul for the last 50 years. Look how, look how spiritual I am. What I'm proposing is that it, you can actually start to help yourself by utilizing these frameworks. And so in just exploring this one, the hero's journey, you can understand that um, knowing what you want is important in that process and being being honest about it. And then allowing yourself to get to that point of no return. Because you can you can have a lot of half assed starts. You know, you, you you like, I'm going for it. And you take a few steps and then you say, Oh, it's too hard. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. You know, people might people might might not approve of me. <laughs> I might I might get hurt. And so you turn back. But you have to allow yourself to get beyond that point of no return so that you can fully commit to the entire process. And you're not likely to do that with things that don't actually matter to you. So this is why I encourage people to actually take the time to get clear on what you really want. Because... If you have, if you're using your time making lots of half-assed attempts, but never actually completing anything, then you've basically done nothing. If you think about your life in terms of movement, then if you just, if, you, if you're wanting to go from, if, if we define transformation, and I'm just going to define it this way, just for the sake of talking about it, if we say that transformation is going to be from point A to point B, yep. we'll just say then if you're, if you're, if you start at point A and then you take a step toward point B and they say, I don't know, it's not for me. It's too hard. He's okay. Back at point A, but then it's still in you. It's like, ah, but point B, point B effort. I, I long for point B and you say, okay, fine. I'm going to do it again. You set out on your journey to point B and you say, oh, but I don't think I'm prepared. Okay, you turn back, you're point A. And you just keep repeating this over and over and over for, you know, one decade, two decades, three decades, four decades, five de You get to the end of your life, you're still at point A. And you could say, well, but look, I had a rich life full of so many experiences. Really? Really? Tell the truth. Not so much. Because the longing, the purpose, the desire was... To complete that journey, to go to point B, to have that complete experience. If you have not had that complete experience, then that longing is still in you. You say, yeah, but I long for point B. So it, it's important to know wh where, what is it that you want? Because only when you know what you truly want, are you going to be willing to do what it takes to complete that experience. 
So that's number one, is to actually take some time on a regular basis to have clarity about what you really want. And then once you have that clarity, then to allow yourself to actually follow through on it with the understanding that there are going to be challenges along the way. Because the other thing that I, I see happen for people is they say, well, I, you know, I, I want to manifest uh, $50 million. This is usually coming from people who don't have, they have, they've, they've not even manifest $20 and they're, they're, they want to manifest $50 million. So right away, more often than not, raises a red flag for me. I think you don't, you don't actually, you haven't actually taken a look to see what you really want. Cause that's basically, it's basically meaningless at that point. Well, we call it whatever, you know, you can call it, call it a billion dollars. It's all the same to you. Cause you don't even, you don't even know what that is. So you've got to have some skin in the game. It's got to actually matter to you. It's got to be important. Not attaining it has to be painful to you. Otherwise you're not going to do it. So. Get clear on what you really want. Take some time each day, every day, at least a few minutes, just to contemplate what actually matters to you. What do you really want? Then, as I say, commit to it. So this is why I encourage, identify what are the things that really, 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 truly matter to you. That you're willing to actually commit to, to follow through on. And then... Each day, remind yourself of that. Remind yourself of what's important to you. Because otherwise, you know as well as I do, that you're just going to fall back into the old story. The old story is what's comfortable. And it's not even comfortable, but it's what's familiar. And so we tend to just continue to do the same old, same old. And we excuse it, again, because of the stories we tell ourselves. Well, I have to. I have to. I have to, I have any choice, you know, you're just telling yourself this story. Oh, I, I have to keep living the life. That's not this, that that's not actually on purpose. That's not meaningful. The life that feels basically empty. I have to keep doing that because of the cats, because of the marriage, because of the kids, because of this, because of that. Okay. You get to do that, but just notice what you're doing. You're telling yourself a story. And you lull yourself back into the same old, uh, it's, it has a, this narcotic effect. So there you go. You're right back in it. But the benefit of having clarity about what is important to you and then reminding yourself of that every day is that it starts to become clear to you that the pain of not being honest about that, not taking steps in harmony and in alignment with that is too great. So remind yourself of it. It's again, it's like, so the, the monster is attacking the village, you know, every night the monster comes and eats some child and everybody in the village, they're like, Oh, it's so terrible. What are we going to do about it? Somebody's got to do something about it. And they're all looking at one another. You got to do something about it. You know, you do something. It's easy to do that, right? Oh, it's so terrible. Somebody should do something. But somebody's never going to do anything. You can do something, right? This is like, you know, someday never comes. Somebody never comes. Somebody is a fiction. There's, there's, a, there's, a, you can do something. If you're waiting for somebody, you'll wait forever. Because then you're just waiting for, for this for some outer circumstances to change. So you have a calling within yourself. Heed that calling. 